guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be part two of the Gnome Wine Bottle Toppers. I'm going to show you how to make this cute little wine bottle topper. And if you don't want to make a wine bottle topper, I'm going to show you how to turn this hat into a full gnome. If you want to know how to make it, stick around. I'll show you how. Okay, what you're going to need for this pattern, you're going to need some faux fur. And this is about four inches by four inches. You're going to need a piece of fabric that measures 11 by 13. Another piece of fabric that measures seven by six. Um, you're going to need a, the pattern, and I will show you where to download that here in just a second. You're going to need, uh, for the nose, you're going to need either a bead or a felt ball, and you're going to need two buttons that look alike, say, from half an inch in size down. And the pattern is going to be in the description. These, This is the pattern. If you can find this fabric, I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's a suede with a um, Sherpa insert in it, and they usually always have it. I've seen it there every year. If you can't find that and you just need to get some fabric, you'll need to cut this piece out as well in just the Sherpa only. If you already got this fabric, you don't need to cut this piece out. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out my pattern and I'm gonna place this right on the fold. I'm gonna fold this over and I'm gonna put this right on the fold and I'm gonna cut this out. Then I'm gonna cut these out. It's gonna take one flap, one top band, and it's gonna take two of these. And if you lay it out like this and then cut the second one like that, you'll have enough room on your seven by six piece of fabric. Okay, now once you got all your fabric pieces um, cut out, you wanna go ahead and shed them because this stuff gets everywhere. Okay, and you may even wanna take a lint brush to it. Sometimes it helps get the extra off. We're gonna glue this edge to this edge, and we're just gonna put a bead of hot glue all the way down the edge. Okay, while that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and cut out our beard. Take your beard pattern, and then just kinda of draw it along the back. And to cut out faux fur, you just get right behind the, the fabric only, not cutting through the fur. Stick your scissors right behind the fur on just the backing only and just go ahead and cut it out. Okay, and do the same thing with your fur. Get all the right excess fur off of it. Okay, now that that's dry, we're gonna turn it right side out. And the way I like to do that is with pliers. It's just the easiest way. You can just pinch a little end of it and pull it right out. Okay, so now that we got that tur in turned right side out, we're gonna go ahead and, and attach our pieces to it. This is gonna be the front flap, so make sure that the seam is in the back. And you're gonna push, put it up about, about a half an inch, because we're gonna put a fold, we're gonna fold this up over the top of it in a little bit. So you wanna glue that probably about a, half an inch up. Right in the center. And then we're gonna turn it to the side and we're gonna add our side flaps. And then we're gonna glue that down a half an inch up too. And we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, then we're gonna turn this up about a half an inch and we're just gonna start gluing it down. And now we're gonna put the piece around the top. We're just gonna put hot glue on it. And we're just gonna wrap it around and finish it out in the back. Just kinda of come up a little bit off the tip of the Cap a little bit, wrap it around, and then we're gonna squeeze it in. Okay, now we're gonna apply our buttons. We're just gonna put a little dot of glue right here and attach our button there. And then we're gonna turn it over and do the same thing on the other side, same place. All right, now we're gonna attach our nose to our beard. We're gonna place it right in the center 
about half an inch down. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a bead of glue right across here and we're gonna glue it to the front of the hat. And I try to go up, not touch the fur while I'm doing it, just kinda go up over the top of it. Otherwise your glue gun has fur all over it and it's a mess. And then we're just gonna stick it right inside, right where the nose is just covered up slightly by the hat. All right, how cute did that turn out? Little mountain man um, gnome bottle topper. All right, if you're staying for part two of my video to um, turn this gnome wine bottle topper into a full-fledged gnome, what you're gonna need is your wine bottle topper already made up. You're gonna need a sock, and I get these um, tube socks from the Dollar Tree. You're gonna need a piece of string, a cup of weighted beads or rice or beans, and a piece of fabric that measures 12 by eight, and we'll adjust it depending on how much stuffing you put in it, and you're gonna need some stuffing. All right, let's get started. What we're gonna start by is making our gnome body. We are gonna cut it off about nine and a half inches up. Okay, then we're gonna add our weighted beads, and I'm just gonna put this sock right over this cup and dump them in. Okay, and then we're gonna add stuffing. You can make them as fat or as skinny as you want, but um, if you make them too fat, you'll probably have to get some more fabric. I'm gonna make mine about that size right there. About the size of a wine bottle, actually. And then we're just gonna tie it off with string. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little hot glue inside here so that that string comes open, which it's not going to. But at least we're covered if it does. All right, then we're just gonna take our fabric and we're gonna fold it in half and glue it. Let that glue dry real good before we turn it right side out. All right, now that that's dry, we're gonna go ahead and turn it right side out. And we're gonna put a little bit of a cuff on the bottom. And we're gonna go ahead and glue that down. Okay, we'll let that dry real good. All right, now that's dry, we're gonna go ahead and put it over the top of our sock. Okay, and then we're gonna glue the top to the sock. But the easiest probably way to do that is just put glue all the way around the sock and then just press the fabric in. Okay, now that that's dry, we're going to go ahead and attach our hat. And you're just going to have to work this hat down onto that body. All right, and then we're just going to glue our hat to the body. You don't have to put a lot of glue because it's pretty tight on there already. And then you can kind of lift his beard up a little bit and just attach a little bit of glue to his beard and glue him down. All right, there you are. A cute little gnome topper turned into a gnome. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to subscribe and see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when a new video comes out, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.